Sorry, caught me slacking. What you really want to see is this Burstner Elegance i728G. Let me turn this off, I'll catch up later on. Let's go. Hi everybody, Liam here at We Buy Any Motor Caravan. Today we've got a 2016 Burstner Elegance and this is the i728G. It's a four berth motorhome, you've got four belted seats. It's a Burstner, which is great. It's an Elegance and it is elegant. Let's go and have a look around. So what have we got on this Burstner Elegance? It's just over seven and a half meters in length, just under three meters in height. It's 3,850 kilograms, so you do need your C1 license to be able to drive it. Um, and the payload is just under 600 kilograms. Now this is actually one of the smaller elegances as well. This is actually a single axle. You can get the tag axles, which is like your, your 900 series. Um, but this for me is just beautiful. It is European, it's German, it's right-hand drive, which is good. We've got the habitation door on the right-hand side, which so you have to be careful there. We've got a full-length awning. You've usually got a little storage cupboard under there. You've got your toilet cassette in there. And then the G stands for garage. So let's have a look at the garage. Now you can access this garage from both sides and you will notice there's no bike rack on the outside of the motorhome and that's because it's on the inside. You've got plenty of room in there. Obviously adds a bit of extra security of the fact that it's in there, but you can get access from both sides. Look at the size of this. If you need to get something out. Now it is quite easy with me being slightly vertically challenged. But look at all this room in here. This is amazing. And I say with just under 600 kilograms worth of payload, this is where all your gear is going to go. Hello. Told you you can access it from both sides. At the rear of the motorhome, there's not an awful lot to talk about, say, because normally this is where your bike rack would be. I think it looks a lot sleeker, a lot more elegant, you could say. Um, you've just got your reversing camera at the back. I think it's time to go and have a look inside. Now, before we sleep soundly at night, what you might want to do is get a valuation for your motorhome. And then we can just pull out the bed in this fancy little camper, get the cushions down. Thank you and good night. Now, you may see me earlier on being caught watching the TV. Now, this has actually got a really decent Max View satellite dish. So this is your remote control for it. We'll show you a little cutaway now of how this works and it's an automatic satellite dish. So you literally press that button, put the aerial up and it'll self-seek to find the, uh, the right aerial for you. And obviously you've got your TV remote as well. Now just while I'm here, obviously Bursners have got a reputation for being one of the most expensive motorhomes out on the market purely because anything German tends to be really good build quality and the Elegance was definitely top of the market. So back in 2016, these started at over £70,000 and that was before you added the automatic gearbox which this has got but obviously with this being the 2016 it's on the old six speed gearbox um, but nothing you can do about that now. Now that was just over £70,000 then to say you had the automatic gearbox which would have been over £1,000 even seven eight years ago whenever it was. The satellite dish you're looking at another two and a half thousand and the previous customer for this actually added a strike back alarm system and inverter I've seen the invoice for that and that was over £4,000. You know, you, you paint something this much, you want to make sure it's safe. Now, adding all that up together, you're looking at a retail value even back then of maybe 80000 I would say even now in 2023, the retail on this is probably going to start with an eight again. Um, where a dealer sees it, um, could be low 80s, could be high 80s. Um, when you get to this sort of territory of motorhome, it really could be anything but new ones of these motorhomes are well over 100,000. The new tag axle ones, you're looking at close to 200,000. A lot of money, but you get a really nice motorhome for it. So the main layout of this bed, and what's a really popular layout over the garage, is these twin single beds. Now, you could keep them as single beds, or if you actually like who you're going away with, you just grab one of these filling cushions, slot that in there like so, You've got another part here, which attaches to the front, and all of a sudden you've got this absolutely massive double bed. What I really like as well, even 
I say this is like seven years old now, but the design is a lot, I know I keep saying elegant, it is the elegance, but it's a lot sleeker, it's a lot more stylish than some of the new ones. Just even with the, the you know the overhead lights there, just with the, the chrome look, it just looks a lot nicer. It adds a, it would look, I think, quite clinical with it being all white. I think this bit just adds a, a little pop of colour on there as well. Now you've also got plenty of storage in around here. So you've got a really big cupboard in that side. You've got one in that side as well with an extra shelf there. And then you've also got, oh, watch me cramp up now. One in there, which is perfect for your shoes. So as you step forward from the bedroom area, you've got your wardrobe in there and that's where the controllers for the, the satellite dish as well. And you've got your wardrobe rail. Can't fit an awful lot in there, but you've got the garage for everything else you need. On my right hand side, you've got the bathroom again, really nice lighting. What I like about these is you've got your separate toilet, wash basin area, your cupboards, and then you've got the shower on the other side. Now I can never work out which way to do these first. There we go. And we'll show you a little cutaway of that in a minute as well with a separate shower. But it just gives you a lot more room in there than what you typically could get in some of the smaller motorhomes where you've got the toilet and the shower in the same cubicle. So in the kitchen, you've got this really nice, bright, white, sleek design. You kind of have to push it and pull it. Got plenty in there to put six bottles of wine. You've got a three ring hob. You've got your sink, some storage cupboards. And again, work out the nut to get these open. Um, Plenty of room. And then on the right hand side, you've got this is the only thing you kind of the downside to these if you like cooking. You've only really got like your, a bit of a grill there. You haven't got a, a decent size oven. Um, but again, you're going around holiday, get the barbecue outside, have a beer. Who wants to be bothered cooking? And you've got a decent size fridge in here. Talking of beers, fit plenty in there. And a little freezer compartment at the top as well. So down towards the bottom here, you've got your electric step button, you've got a couple of light switches. You've got this which looks like it's a cupboard to nowhere really. You've got a few little shelves and you've also got the control panel for the Truma iNet ready heating system as well. And obviously you've got your TV which we said is run off the satellite dish and then just towards the top, unfortunately it looks like they've been uh, taken at some point but that's where you'd have your typically your, your branded glassware in there as well. And then above my head which we'll just drop down here, you've got your Burstner control panel for your lights, your hot water, heating and everything else. So now we're in the, the dinette area, really nice leather upholstery. Now this is a four berth motorhome and you've got four belted seats. So if, just if I pull these away there, you can see you've got two seat belts there, you just need to pull round. This is classes like your half dinette area. Um, it's not the biggest of areas but if there's four of you going away there is plenty of room you've got the single side seat and then you've got the the driver and the passenger seat are captain seats which will swivel around so you can actually have quite a nice sort of intimate dining area as well um above me there's even more storage cupboards as well um again it looks it's nice and bright and airy i like the little design features here even like just around the window rather than just being plain looks really nice and then we'll finish off with showing the the other sleeping arrangement which is a drop down bed so now we come to say to this drop down bed nice leather padding on the bottom side as well and then really simple one for up one for down look at the space you've got on there as well you can obviously close the front blind uh, make it darker at night you've got blinds on all the other windows as well but what I really like about this is look how much headroom you've got there. A lot of the drop down beds, you still seem quite, if you're claustrophobic, it's not gonna be one for you. This has got loads of room. I feel like I'm on the voice. So we'll finish off in the cab. So it is built on the Fiat Ducato. It's a three liter engine and you've got the six speed automatic gearbox. Um, not an awful lot to talk about. You've got a Pioneer stereo system here. Which I've got a separate remote control for as well. You've got USB points in there. Uh, you've got climate control. You've got traction control. You've got hill descent control. Um, 
cruise control, lots of controls basically. Um, some people do like on the, the newer ones to have it on the Merc, but again, you're looking at a lot more money for these. Um, but for the age of this, condition wise, it's really been kept really well actually. Um, even the, uh, the leather seats, normally you can see them start to crack after a few years, but this is great. Um, but more importantly, I want to hear what you think. So this is the Bursner i728G. A little bit older than most of the motorhomes we do review wise, but when you get something like this that could still kind of stand on its own two feet in today's, um, today's age, we really like it. Hit that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't done already. Leave any questions, any comments. We do read them. We love to see what your feedback is um, on the motorhomes, on us. Please keep it kind. And um, that's enough from me for now. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.